Welcome back, everybody, to TV Sports 27. The Southern Miss Golden Eagles, the last three games that we have played, absolutely terrible. Beatdowns of epic proportions, three in a row after starting off the season two and two. Team's gone into a complete tailspin, and we got two of the harder games of the season coming up here. We got Auburn at home, then we will travel to Florida State next, so it does not get any easier for the Golden Eagles as we get into conference play. Hang with us, we're gonna make it entertaining. We might have another 40-point blowout on our hands, but by God, we're going to do what we can do here. The ratings, which we looked at off-camera, if you're a member of our Patreon page or our Twitch page, you can see us kind of looking at some of this stuff off-camera. But off-camera, and you guys can check that out over on our Patreon page. It'll be up there early and ad-free. But we looked at it off camera and we're pretty evenly matched. I mean, ratings wise, we're both like in the 70s. Man, that is impossible. Uh, so we should be competitive with this team. I know big conference team, obviously Auburn, SEC, the old school SEC logo, the diamond. Starting things off here. Okay. Oh, come on now. Let's not turn it over. I think maybe the problem was we got to slow this thing down. We're not good at shooting, so we need to just take less shots. So it might be a slower, more boring game. But I think that might be the strategy here because against McNeese State, we they kind of forced us with the way they played into a lot of shots. And we need to take fewer shots. Like that, but we didn't get it to go. The fewer shots did not work. <laughs> We've taken a whole minute here. And from three point range, Stanley Dillon. Now they're going to play press on us. Well, Fanning. Auburn's trying to force it here. They're trying to force it quick. And they're already up by five. Frank Ricks. Under 11 minutes left in the half. Southern Miss trying to slow it back down. Coach Shaq trying to pull the head up of this thing. It's starting to get out of hand a little bit. Carlson has it left wing. Lead pass, perimeter. Foxler releases. The baseline oh. shot off target. And it's a five-point game. Auburn, Dylan outside to Ricks for three, seven nothing. <laughs> it's gonna be a rough couple of games, and conference play could be even worse. This team might just finish like two and twenty something. But by God, we're gonna play every game. We're gonna we're gonna try our hardest. And he bounces it out of bounds, so it just gets from. It just gets bit from bad to worse for Coach Shaquille O'Neal and the Southern Miss Golden Eagles team. There were high hopes. There were there were thoughts of this this magical Cinderella tournament run. He doesn't look like that's going to be the case. And we got a lot of basketball. We got like how many more sh how many more games are we going to bring you guys? I think the regular season is is eight, sixteen games. It's pretty even, I said, for like what football was. Because football, we do, you know, NFL 16 games, and we split it up into a part one, part two. So that's like 32. So that's exactly kind of what college basketball is here. Butler, who's usually been surefire the last couple of games, and we have a zero on the scoreboard. Thanks, Bonnie. Rick can't extend the lead to double digits. Southern Miss just trying to come up with anything. Yes, there we go. Keep moving the ball. Eagles, Golden Eagles on the board. 9-2, Auburn Tigers leading the Southern Miss Golden Eagles. There is Ba. Edwin Ba is his name. B-A, the B-A. B-A Edwin Ba. You guys are Billy Gunn fans from DX, WWE. Frank Ricks. 
So Coach Shaq calls a timeout. Let's uh, probably get our shot, shot selection up. We change up. even know i don't even know this team's so bad i don't even know what we want to what we want to try to get situated here this might be the one and only you think people got mad on my 2k5 when i called a play action fake on third and long wait till people see this the comments are going to be i'm going to get flamed so bad this might be the one and only college basketball season done <laughs> I'll let you guys let me know. I'm right now in like what I always play. I play on middle difficulty for everything. Do I need to bump the difficulty down? I try not to do that. I try to leave it alone. But we're just going to keep getting blowouts here. Sykes went after that rebound hard. Great work. But let's not give up yet. Let's see what kind of outing we can have. Auburn's not that big and bad here. There we go. Look at this. It is 11-7. We are in this game, folks. Victor Butler from three. We are in this basketball game. Dylan gets it outside. Ooh, no foul call. You got guys getting thrown down 13-7. A lot of timeouts early on. You can tell uh, Coach Shaq really trying to get things situated. Not let this one get out of control. Under seven minutes left in the half. Pass, far side. Botchler has it top of the key. A lot of quick ball movement here. Maybe a point of emphasis that the coach Shaq had in practice this week after the loss. Butler. Oh, my goodness. That would have been a big three-pointer. Say this, though. So far early on, and I know we'll probably Jack jinx it, but right slowing the game down. McNeese, they really had a, quite the game plan where they forced us with just the way they were trying to pr play play up on our guys. And you're seeing Auburn trying to execute that a little bit, but Eagles not falling into it. And, and so far, the game has not completely gotten out of control just yet. Southern Miss keeping this one close so far, 15 to nine. Auburn Tigers in the lead. Catches it outside. Bolton backs him down. Gets the layup. Bolton. Lindsey Bolton forces his way through. He got some size to him. He saw Bruno Carlson on him. I want to see our guys do that. Like, I feel like none of our big guys can just kind of push forward and, and get the layup like that. Five minutes left in this first half. Ooh, Butler was open momentarily. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, that's our, our big guys are terrible. And hopefully that's something Shaq, you know, with his experience as a big man can recruit some top big men but southern miss getting the getting the ball here Carlson catches it on the corner hands it off Auburn doing a good job not letting the Eagles get in no and it's an eight point game Ball at the top, outside to Dylan for three. Ah, oh, that hurts. And they get up to 11. Southern Miss, though, keeping this one more 
tightly contested than it had been previous. Oh, and see, they force us there. Oh, but they would have gotten a travel, so he kind of, he forced it on his own. Again, I want that to be a layup. I, I got to learn how to do layups. Because it should be, in any other basketball game, it's holding down the shoot button and pushing the joystick up. But that does not seem to be the case in this game. And as you just saw when we looked at the controls, there was no layup control. Someone let me know. I'll Google it as well. But if you know this game, how the heck do you do a layup? Because maybe that would solve a lot of our problems right now. And it's picked up by Auburn. It's a nine-point spread. I'd love to see that. I'm still happy with how close we're keeping it after the game we just went through. I'm going to look real quick. Doing a pause. Okay, we did a quick Google search. And there's like literally nothing online for any controls for this game. So, as far as like doing layups or getting them to drop a little better. I don't know. One person said for 2K8, just keep passing the ball, getting your guys open. Which we did, and then Styles pretending like he was underwater trying to shoot that one with how much weight that ball had to it. But we got three minutes left, and it's... <laughs> I was going to say, it's quite a low-scoring game. But here comes Auburn with 25. Styles passes it to the right side. Perimeter. Dishes to the left. Trying to call different plays, but it's like Fishers. I feel like I hit the button and the, the guys aren't even moving. Oh, <laughs> it's you, you know by now. It's horrific. They can't shoot. Here we go. Come on. Yes. Lucas Boxler. Let's get it done. 25 13. It is somewhat of a game. Not completely out of the way just yet. Okay, come on, Eagles. Let's go. MJ out there, number 23, Michael Jordan. He's even got the Michael Jordan bald head. I think all things considered, yes, we're getting, we're losing. This is a much better outing. It to the right side. Come on. Oh, come on. It, and that's his this is a much better outing than McNeese that's State Cowboys. Oh, that shot. That's killer that Maxwell missed that shot. Backs him down. The big man, Bolton. Rebound. Could not get that one to go. Frank Ricks. Yes, that one does go. Once the shot goes up. You keep fighting for those offensive boards. <sighs> He's had a nice game today as Ricks. 27-13. We hit the road and play Florida State. That's going to be the toughest environment that we have played in all season long. Coming up against Florida State. That was just, I mean, he, oh, I don't, I don't know how he got that to go because his feet were not set at all. There is nobody in the stands for Southern Miss basketball right now. They're going to let it go down, take the final shot, which I'm fine with. Because they only got an 11-point lead. It is not a 40-point lead. Outside. Ricks catches it on the perimeter. Oh, that hurts. Ticking down time. Fire. Yes! How about that answer back? Okay. Look, this is a win in my book. Only down by 11, considering the game we just played against McNeese State, which you guys can check in the archives. If you guys want to pay to watch it, it's terrible. Go check it out. But, um, yeah, your, uh, your triple threat, your blue chew player of the half, Mr. Dillon, Stanley Dillon, a lot, Bill. There you have it. And we are sitting at 
you know, a little better off here. So real quick, hit you with some plugs before we get into the second half, as always. You guys know, or maybe you don't know, follow us on Twitch, support the channel, follow, hit the follow button, subscribe, and hit the thumbs up on YouTube. We're also on Twitter. We tweet before we go live. So follow us there to get all the updates. Also, we're on Patreon, where you can really help support the channel. Got you a lot of bonus content as well, including Lamar Jackson and the Toronto Huskies. They were uh, in action recently. The RXFL kicking back off a second season here. At some point, we'll move to another game, but yeah, it is, uh, it is that underway. And... Our Patreon supporters, shout them out, thank them, because those are the guys right there that help keep this channel alive. If not for them, we wouldn't be able to do this thing. So reach out, thank a Patreon supporter. I don't know where I don't know where the guy is. Okay, there we go. I turned off the five second rule because half the time your guys would get lost. I wouldn't know where they are. Come on, Carlson. That would have just been such a dagger to start this second half, get a three like that. All right. Just come right in, get two, no problem. Just boop, put it in. Southern Miss, Golden Eagles, Auburn Tigers. Skips it to the perimeter. Ball movement still going. We're getting open shots, but, uh, you know, our, our, our shooting situation is still not good. What are you, are you guys a stick shooter or are you a button shooter? I go back and forth. I've been doing stick a lot lately. Maybe I need to go back to button. Oh, well, and here comes Auburn. Well, they, they hung around they hung around in the first half but you knew that wasn't going to happen forever you absolutely knew that was not going to be the case I mean don't follow me around and unfortunately one thing we're running into at this team as long as we've been playing with them. You don't have that name. Like, who's the guy? You know, every team's got that one guy where it's like, okay, get the ball in his hands. I don't, we don't really have that on this Southern Miss team. You know. We don't have that, hey, get the ball in this guy's hands in a desperate situation. He'll bail us out, right? So I think that's a big part of the problem. I was hoping number three was going to be the guy that would kind of alleviate that, but so far that has not been the case. That's a nice little put back there. 37-21 Auburn Tigers here over the Golden Eagles, Southern Miss. Bah. Dylan for three. Ooh. Careful with it, guys. That's just killer right now. The missed shots are just absolutely killing this team. You're basketball players. You're missing shots. Like, how is that a miss? <laughs> like, that's what's so oh, frustrating. Frustrating. Shaq's never going to get hired by a big school. He was hoping UCLA was going to come calling. Not now. Another miss. Another miss. Southern miss. We should, just we should just change our name to miss. Because we miss every shot we take. Timeout called. I've said this before. I hate how many timeouts that teams get in basketball. At least in video games, you can skip it, so it's not as bad, but it's brutal how many times you can stop the game in basketball. Three timeouts a half, that's all you get, just like football. Well, the, 
the slowdown strategy, the ball movement strategy so far, second half. Auburn has definitely made their adjustments. Yeah. Come on, big man. Well, he did block him. Nicely done. No points happening there. The Golden Eagles down big. Swing pass, perimeter. From the wing. There we go. Finally. Good aggressive move pays off. Smothering D could not stop the fire that time. Under ah. left in the second half. Rick. Frank Ricks, who has been pretty dominant for the Auburn Tigers in this ball game. Putting us in a world of hurt. Styles. Did they only give him two on that one? I didn't see what score we had beforehand. 26-42. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Oh, come on. Denied. Destroyed. Embarrassed. Dylan misses. Rebound. Frank Ricks. Dylan again. Nope. Rebounded by the Golden Eagles. Oh, Butler. Yes. Holy smokes. We are in this one, folks. And I say that just after we lost to McNeese State by like 40 points. We are keeping this tightly contested with Auburn right now. Oh. We are within nine on the Auburn Tigers. Keep playing hard. Oh. Oh, 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 no. Freaking no. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, man. We had the momentum. We just lost it. Unreal. Unreal. It's so hard, man, in basketball. We had the momentum. One misfire. And they hit the three, and we're toast. 45-31. I'm still proud of this score, considering what we did the last three weeks. This was absolutely... That was not where I wanted to pass the ball. This was absolutely... Not where we wanted to be the last three games. And the fact that we got Auburn within 20, that's an accomplishment. Fortunately, we kind of have to start going a little faster now if we want to try to make this thing happen. Come on, Carlson. That might just be a lack of concentration, Vern. Absolutely, it's a lack of everything. Lack of talent, lack of concentration. Shaq might need to go Jim Moore on these guys. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think this one's happening. It's still, I mean, we kept it close. Didn't let him get 70. Passes to the left side. Shoots it. Good tight defense there. It was missed by Fisher. So Florida State's up next. That is the final non-conference game. It's going to be the rowdiest atmosphere that we have played in front of this season for sure. We've only had one road game this year. We'll try to end this run. Butler releases. Can't get the three to four. Under four minutes so it'll be interesting going to Florida State and then we get into conference play. So we'll see what happens there with teams that are supposedly supposed to be in our same skill level in conference action. What just happened there? They just get rebounded into the net? Are you kidding me right now? Don't 
Don't fumble it. Nicely done by Victor Butler. Look at that body control. 3-10 remaining here in the second. Fifty-two, thirty-three. Southern Miss. You know, we try to keep it as close as we could. Get some rebounds. Oh, one guy is down there. Look at how many guys we had. We had all five Golden Eagles, all five, and one Auburn Tiger. Just like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna rebound this. No problem. How embarrassing. Well, I'll be interested to see in the next game, Florida State, how they come out because their top four scorers when we started the Bradley game, when we looked at the rosters. Oh, boy. That is not who I wanted to be taking the three, but that's who ended up with the ball. They, uh, they were all injured. So whether or not they've gotten healthy in these last two weeks... Or not, time will tell. And our 15-point game is now quickly turning into a 30-point blowout once again here for Southern Miss. At the end of the Florida State game as well, we're going to let the Greg Gumbel weekly wrap-up show take place. So we'll let you guys take a listen to that. We're not doing it for every single week. But maybe like every four games or so. Oh, well, we got that three. We'll do it. But hang in there, because it's not all bad just yet. I know it's not going well for the Golden Eagles, but you do well in conference play. It's like a whole new season. And you get into the conference tournament. Because that would be the thing to focus on. Obviously, I think we can save to say. And you almost hate to say it at this point in the season so early, but that's just the way our season's gone right there. That's the per Someone make a short out of that, because that's how our season's gone. That March Madness is most likely not going to be happening here <laughs> for this squad. But getting a conference title, I mean, how many conferences have we got in like college basketball? 20? 21? 22? Being one of those teams that wins a conference title and maybe just getting into March Madness... Even if it's a you know blowout, but getting that experience, winning a conference title would be the ultimate goal. I mean, you, the, I'm a Boise, Boise State fan for football, and they went to the LA Bowl this year and got got rocked in the second half and got blown out. But you can look back on what was a pretty contentious season with a little bit of excitement because that Boise State team ended up with an interim coach winning a conference championship which it did not look like that was going to be the case at all during the season and the fact that they ended up in the conference title and won it pretty impressive so that's something that we got to look forward to to maybe get that conference usa crown but auburn they're going to come in here they're going to end up putting 20 plus on us why not insult to injury Greg Gumbel, wrap you up. We got one more game coming your way. FSU. We'll see what happens. Now let's go to Greg Gumbel back in the studio for today's Pontiac game-changing performance. Thanks, Vern, and welcome, everyone, to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with today's Pontiac game-changing performance. Nothing gets into the head of an opponent more than a highlight reel jam. The Auburn Tigers made spectacular plays like this one, the norm in their runaway victory. How impressive is that? Okay, thanks, Greg. I'm Vern Lundquist for Bonnie Bernstein and Bill Raftery. Glad you were with us for College Hoops 2K7. Well, you look at that. It's basically just if we got our field goal percentage up, we'd be in these games. That's the thing that's killing us. Everything else is pretty even. All right, guys, FSU coming up next.